Hello everybody and welcome to the amazing card for SummerSlam this Sunday, August the 2nd at 8pm UTC. I'm Jim McMahon, with me is Gorilla Mezzo. It all comes down to this SummerSlam Sunday night, 8pm UTC. All of the JFW Championship titles will be defended and on the line and we have a stacked card ready for you tonight and Jim let's get right into it yeah first up we've got Ardvac versus Table Leg Wanger for the Money in the Ass contract yeah and this is a real shame I mean this will be a lit match to open on but a real shame for Ardvac to have to defend a contract he rightfully won at the Money in the Ass pay-per-view now he's got to put it on the line never got a chance to cash it in Table Leg Wanger just endeared himself to the upper management, and here we are, Ardvac, going to have to defend his contract against Table Leg Wanger with the hashtag not my champion, Jimmy Minmaxtastic in Table Leg's corner. Whew, that's going to be a hell of a start, Jim. It's going to be glorious. Hashtag Jimmy's the real champion. <laughs> and next up, we've got the World Heavyweight Championship. Two of the three people to ever hold that belt are in the ring tonight. It will be Odonta Kellis. It will be Tony Plays Poorly. Mighty AF is sitting this one out. We've got Big Match Tony in the arena for you. And he will be facing off his old nemesis, Odonta Kellis, for that very, very wonderful title. And I cannot wait to see these guys end this feud once and for all. Yeah, it's going to be great, isn't it? And, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's yep. Yep. It's going to be great with me, you know, with uh, with who knows what's going to happen and what, what who the next challenge is going to be as well. Maybe it'll be Dave. Maybe <laughs> Dave was seconds away from getting his shot. But speaking of rivalries that need to come to an end, this one almost certainly will tonight. Calcium Kaz versus McNaughton. McNaughton was supposed to be in the match we just talked about, but instead Calcium came out, put his career on the line to Mr. Jim's McMahon, and now McNaughton, the man who stole Wendy Calcium's wife, has to go one more time against Calcium to be rid of this 180-pound gorilla on his back. And it's going to be a last man standing match. The person who cannot answer the 10 count of the referee will be out. And if that person is Calcium, he will be unemployed. Unbelievable, isn't it? That is going to be epic. The, the conclusion to this ridiculous feud. <laughs> Absolutely. But... All oh, right in the middle of the right in the middle of the show, the Plum Plum Pluserweight Championship match. A triple threat between just Joe, Muppet Pac-Man, and the reigning ghoul face killer. I gotta tell you, if you haven't sat through a Plim Plum Pluserweight match yet, you are in for a treat. These guys will definitely bring it. That title's always one of the most exciting matches on the card, and it's going to be three of the absolute best in the division going at it against each other should be a wild one absolutely and just look how happy just joy is there to be there oh uh, the smile <laughs> that could set a thousand ships on fire that <laughs> made no sense just so he can put them out <laughs> exactly and then muppet pac-man's gonna be doing double duty as he manages his tag team the unnatural snackers to try to wrestle the Two heads championship titles away from the fucking rats, Chunter and Finney. But my word, Chunter and Finney with a dominant performance on Friday stand firm. They look about as ready to go as they've ever been. This one has all the fixings of an incredible match. We watched tag team after tag team wage war and fall and fail. And the only one that could rise to the top was the unnatural snackers and this is their moment for glory as they challenge for the two heads championship yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be absolutely ep epic i'm sure I nearly choked a bit there speaking of uh, epic yeah and here we go 
Squirrel Dude, Rick Reckless. No one needs to tell the story of this one. We all know it. Squirrel Dude trying to get back the title he held for just a few short days. Rick Reckless, his former best friend, seems to be going off the deep end a little bit, Jims, and uh, has been ducking match after match, hasn't even been on TV directly, just been sending his cryptic messages and promos, but there's no escape now. One-on-one, -on -one, hell in a cell. Rick Reckless is gonna be there. Squirrel Dude is gonna be there. And the only way you'll walk out of hell in the cell is by winning the match or, or losing and leaving after the winner. But still... <laughs> <laughs> it's hell in a cell. <laughs> and then here you go. Look at that. The graphic makes it look like Tarsus, your rightful champion, is holding the belt. But he certainly is not. Jimmy Minmax Tastic calling his shot on Wednesday, saying he's sick of all this bullshit. The hashtag not my champ. The whole Tarsus wah, wah, cry, cry. Kurgle punching his balls up into a well above his weight class. And these two guys, he wants to make a message. He's calling them both out into the ring at the same time. Triple threat, Jimmy Minmax-tastic, putting his money where his mouth is and defending the extra arms belt against Tarsus and the Kurgle. Yeah, that wild well, there. You, what can you say about Jimmy Fantastic? Hashtag... Hashtag not my champion. That's what I can say, Jim. Thank <laughs> you, everyone, for joining us. Cannot wait to see you at SummerSlam at 8 p.m. UTC. Get ready and stay fantastic. Oh, yeah, it's going to be amazing. Hashtag Jimmy's the real champion. Thank you very much, <laughs> Colonel <Mezzo. laughs> <laughs> have a good night i'll see you on sunday glorious and thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic